Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make an overview video, a collection overview video about some Parker pens. This is something I don't do a lot and I don't know why because I have lots of Parker pens and I really like uh, the, the Parker. I don't know why I usually don't make m many videos about them and I think Parker is nowadays a very underrated brand although they have, or they have, it depends, some great models. They still have some. So, today it is a collection overview about Parker stainless steel pens. And let's open the box and start looking at, at them. So, these pens are the steel pens. Uh, Parker used to call the gold dreamed pens flighter, uh, at least when they released the Parker 51 flighter. These ones, I would just call them stainless steel because not all of them have gold trim. And so, now let's take a look at each one of them. So, now we zoomed in and let's take a look at the pens. I will start, they, they are ordered by the, the year the model was released, not the exact year of the production of this particular item that you see in front of you. It's the start of the range. So, first one, the first model is the Parker 61. The Parker 61 was released in 1960, sorry, 1956, and it was discontinued in 1983. And this is uh, a pen that was inspired, that followed the Parker 51, but it is uh, a little larger and it has a hooded nib with this uh, very well-known gold arrow. This gold arrow is not in good shape, it has been glued and this pen was originally made with um, a capillary filling system, but then they changed the filling system to cartridge converter, which is the case of this one. So you have a stainless steel pen with gold trim. Now, the second one, which are all these, uh, these are Parker 45s. The Parker, the Parker 45 is a, par is a pen that lasted for a long time on the Parker collection. And they were made in they were introduced in 1960 and they were discontinued in 2007. So they have uh, 47 years uh, around. So it is a very long time for a fountain pen. And so let's take a look. Here we have a stainless steel. The, the common thing to all Parker 45s is this kind of shape, general shape. And the, the clip, although there are some without clip, and then this kind of long section with a hooded or a semi-hooded nib that you can unscrew and easily change to another one. This is a section that you can ex exchange and it takes these very old Parker cartridges and they, they can take even the more modern ones, but these are the original. So we have one that the earlier models that were like these with the this metal little piece on the end that had the same color as the rest of the trim of the pen and here you have another one but this is all still even this part as chrome trim otherwise is exactly the same pen so using the same logic these ones are the same thing as the previous, but they had this black end piece made of plastic. Then they changed the design and start making started making um, a whole body, not with uh, the the end piece. As you can see, the size is the same, but uh, it is a little larger than this one. I like better this kind of design otherwise the pen is the same as you can see 
and this one is the same thing, just uh, gold and chrome trim. Now, let's move to a very particular variation, which is this one, which is the Parker 45 Arlequin. And they have this kind of pattern engraved, which is very nice. This is the um, shields pattern and this is the circlet pattern. They are the same pen, as you can see, all chrome trim, but have these engraved patterns. There are some rare variations where these engraved patterns may be um, they have uh, ink, uh, paint or enamel of black, green, red, and they are quite rare. I like these ones because the texture to the feel is very different to this to, from the, those other. Then, what we have next? Next, we have the last version of the Parker 45. As you can see, it is the same thing, except when we get to the clip, this clip has a different design. Let me take the previous version. This one is more rounded and it has a black uh, jewel on top and it also has this hole on the cap uh, to, for security reasons if you swallow the cap to not get out of hair, to, to do not suffocate. Then we have this pen and you say, you already showed that one, it was the first, the Parker 61, no, this is the Parker 65, which is the same pen as the Parker 61, but has this open or more open nib, but it is very, it is quite a strange shape of nib, but this is a very nice pen to write with. And this pen, the Parker 65, was released in um, 1967 and it was made until 1983. And now I just realized I have this one out of order. Before this one was released, it was released this one. I hope you don't mind. And this one, this is a Parker 75. And this is a model that many of you know. They are very no well known for the sterling uh, silver versions. But this one is a stainless steel with gold nib, gold trim, and even a very narrow gold ring on the cap. Very nice, very elegant. Also a cartridge converter pen. Then the Parker 65 I talked about. And let's move on to the Parker Classic. This pen was originally sold as a ladies pen. It is a very slim pen, but long one, with a longer clip with a different shape. Instead of being attached to the to the to the top of the cap, like all these, as you can see, this one is fixed into the side of the cap. And it has a very strange section with this uh, squared pattern and a strange looking nib, like a arrow head thing. And then it has, it takes Parker cartridges or converters, but it can take all kind of converters. Um, those that were on the Parker 45 don't fit inside of this because they are too fat for this pen. And then we move on to the Parker 25. This is a very strange pen. When we think of uh, the, the Parker pens, the, the usual shape, because it doesn't have the hero shaped clip. Instead, it has the Parker logo there on a black piece on the, on the clip, the black ring here, which is part of the section and the black top of the pen. And the section is like this, very plain. This was a cheap pen with a metal ring there and the nib with this unusual shape that is not found on many Parkers. And this was made um, from 1975 until 1994. And several versions were made. Uh, white, black, um, 
the, the outside, then there were the steel versions, and there was even a, an orange steel, uh, which is not that easy to find today. I'll close this and put the lower tray up here to show you better. And we also have these ones. This is the same pen, but the blue and the green version. Some have breather hole on the nib, others don't. It depends on the uh, stage of manufacturing. Some have this plain top of the cap and other ones have this recessed top of the cap, but they are virtually the same pen. So this is the Parker 25. Another thing that was very strange about the design of this pen was that the the barrel is much narrower on the end. It's not very beautiful when you look at the pen, but to post it, it's perfect because the pen gets very perfectly posted, deeply posted. It's not too long and uh, it fits perfectly because the barrel is narrower there. Then, this is slipping. Then we have Oops, this one, and this is a, a Parker, um, let me check, this is the Parker 100, 180, and this is a pen that has, is inspired by the Parker Classic that I showed before, it has the same kind of section, but it has a different nib. The nib on this pen can be used to write in both ways, so, this is the 180 because it can be used rotating the pen 180 degrees. In one of the sides, it is, let me try to show you, it is extra fine and if you write like this, it is extra fine. If you write the other way, it is, no, if you write like this, it is a medium. If you write like this, it is an extra fine. So. For the people like reverse writing, this is a pen that was made specifically for reverse writing or for having two different nib widths. This is a Parker uh, and this one was made, sorry, I forgot, this one was made from 1977 until 1985. Now, let's go to another pen. This is not very well known out there. It is a pen that has a very nice design. This one has a problem because the, the top of the clip is broken and this is loose, as you can see. I have to try either to fix the clip that is cracked or to replace the cap, I don't know. And this is the Parker 50 or the Parker Falcon, which, which is a pen that uh, looks very nice. It's not that different from the Parker 45, also a cartridge converter. But when we were, you uncap it, it is more similar to the Parker T1, which is a Parker that doesn't have a section or has the nib integrated on the section, like this one. Which is, but the other one is made of titanium and this is made of steel. This is a very beautiful pen and it is a joy to write with it, although this one is a little bit ruined. And now let's go to another one that I got from a second hand stuff store and it is a very nice pen. It is not that well known. It is the Parker 105. It was released in 1979 and they stopped producing it in 1982. So only three years of life for this pen. But it is a very beautiful pen. The clip on this one is also on the side of the, of the pen. This is all steel and chrome finish very simple. The most well-known pen is a variation of these uh, with uh, made of gold or gold plated, I'm not sure, that was made for um, commemoration of the, um, the, the wedding of Prince, Prince Charles and Diana of England. And uh, this stainless steel version is not that well-known. It has a steel section also, and then this black ring and quite a big steel nib that works very well and I got this pen for only 10 euros. I'm very happy with it and it is 
uh, cartridge converter pen also. Now we'll go to the Parker 15, which is this. This is also called Jotter sometimes, although Jotter was the name for the ballpoint, not for the fountain pen, it was 15, but uh, it depends. Uh, some people called it Jotter. It was made from 1980 until, I'm not sure, 2016. I'm not sure about this date. If someone knows, please tell me. And this pen was very, this very simple. This is a pen for 9 euros or less. Very simple with a black top of the cap, uh, very simple arrow, quite small and thin, a black section, nothing more with it, uh, a not so beautiful nib, it takes cartridge or converter, and this is it, the Parker 15. Not one of my favorite Parkers. And then we'll move it, move to another pen that is not at all one of my favorite Parkers. And I, th I think almost everyone knows this pen. This is the Parker, uh, sorry to put this on focus. This is the Parker Vector. And I think everyone knows this kind of design. I don't really like the shape of the nib. I don't really love how this pen writes. And the steel version is better than the plastic ones because the plastic ones almost always cracked here or on the lip of the cap. These were quite cheap, sometimes for 5 euros they were available. Uh, they are most well known for being sold as um, rollerballs. This one existed from 1982 until 2012, so also a long life. And then from Vector we move to the Parker 95 that was made in 1988 until 1994. And this one has a long silver, uh, sorry, a long hero clip with all the feathers engraved, a black top, also a black end of the barrel with the golden ring, and a black section and this kind of shape of the nib that we can say it's quite similar in some way to the Vector or even to the 105 or even with the Parker 25. So this is a, a model that is not rare but it's not that common to find out there. And then we'll move to a pen that is already in production, which is the Parker Sonnet. I think most of you already know the, also know this pen. This pen is available in most uh, in most exquisite finishes, like lacquers and such things, I mean gold nibs. This one is just stainless steel with a steel nib, quite nice pen, slip cap, and has all of these that I showed are, with a plastic section, also cartridge converter. It has a nice nib and writes very well. It was a upper uh, range pen. In a lower range, but with a very similar uh, look, was this one, the Parker Frontier. I like a lot this Parker Frontier. It was a pen, uh, this, is, this was made for around uh, 150 euros and this was on the range of 25 euros. So, a nice uh, pen. Also slip fit cap. As you can see, uh, a rubber, uh, uh, like a rubberized um, plastic section, plastic feed, steel nib, nothing fancy to it, but a very nice steel pen, also cartridge converter, also slip fit cap, and it is the same pen as that one, just one has silver uh, chrome trim, the other gold trim with gold plated nib. So. This is the Parker Frontier. It was made since 1996, so it was released two years after the Sonnet, but the Sonnet is still around and the Frontier is not anymore because it was discontinued in 2012. And now, just, I'm getting tired of talking, just three more pens to talk about. And the next one is this one, and this is a pen that uh, it was my grandmother that gave the pen to me, and I, ro I wrote with it a long time, and I really liked it. This is the Parker Inflection. It, it was also made 
uh, in a yellow lacquered color that was very nice. It is the same kind. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. Let's change. And let's do it like if this there was no mistake. And now this is the Parker that my grandmother gave me. This is the Parker inflection. I was wrong there. That has a different design of the hero clip with feathers made of black, with a black jewel on top, a black jewel on the bottom of the cap, a gold colored trim, and I wrote a lot with this pen. It has a nib that remembers the nib of the Parker vector and such. It is also a steel nibbed pen. Very nice one. I liked this a lot and I wrote so much time with this. So this is the Parker Inflection. It was made from 2001 to 2004. And now the mistake I made when I arranged this, because this box usually is not for those pens. They are next to the others of the same model, not just steel pens. When I arranged this, I made the mistake and put the other one first. This is the Parker Latitude, which is like a reinvention and it is easier to see of the Parker Inflection. The same kind of structure, just a gold colored button there, a gold colored top, and the feathers are on the clip and not on the side. But when we talk about the nib, I must say that I like more the shape of the nib, of the inflection, than the shape of the nib from the latitude. This was discontinued, as I said, in 2004. It was made only from 2001 to 2004. And this one was made to, to, from 2005 to 2009. So this was uh, the, the range of this pen. And now, finally, let's go to the last one. I didn't have room on the tray to put it. And this is the Parker Jotter. And this was released in 2018. And it is a reinvention of the older Parker 15 Parker Jotter. But as you can see, it is a little larger, a little girthier. It has a different shaped arrow. Also, the, the top of the cap is more sturdy than that, just that black piece. And when you uncap the pen, although you can see some similarities I find this new jotter much nicer and this one you can find easily because it is currently on production although the other is still easy to find like a new old stock and now let's just cap this one and also cap that one and put it uh, somewhere here and this is it this is a very long video 20 minutes long just to talk about my collection of parker steel pens uh, i hope this is interesting to you um most of this information about the dates of production i got it from a very useful website that is parkerpens.net i advise you all to 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 check it if you like parker pens they have a lot of information and this is it. I hope you liked it. This is very long, I know. If you like the video and find the information useful, please subscribe our YouTube channel or put a like or give us some comment below if you have any doubts or have any correction to, to do to our collection overview. This is it for today. Thank you for your patience in that side and I hope to see you soon.